I'm Aidan Prenival, and welcome to the St. Boniface Museum. This is the oldest building still standing in Winnipeg. Built between 1846 and 1851, originally it was used as the convent for the Sisters of Charity of Montreal, also known as the Grey Nuns. But the convent was not just used as the nuns' residence. It was also used as a school, an orphanage, an asylum, a senior's residence, and the first hospital in Western Canada. Today is May 12th, which is celebrated every year as Manitoba Day. And I would like to take just a few moments to explain what happened on this day 150 years ago. In 1870, the Manitoba Act was passed by the Parliament of Canada and officially became a law in our country. Leading up to the Manitoba Act from 1869 to 1870, there had been, in what is present-day Winnipeg and some surrounding areas, what is known as the Red River Resistance. During the resistance, the Métis of Red River led a community movement and negotiated entry of the territory into Canadian Confederation. The Métis had some worries about joining Canada, but mostly they were looking for certain guarantees and rights. It's a story that involves barricades, prisoners, arguments, and compromise, with many different committees who held a lot of meetings. A huge convention gathered all the parishes together, and it was decided that each parish would elect two representatives to pursue the important work of negotiating with Canada. They drafted and reworked a list of rights together, and the final copy was used as a basis for the Manitoba Act. In a letter, we can see that Louis Riel suggested the name Manitoba for the new province. So what happened on May 12, 1870, is that the Manitoba Act was passed by the Canadian Parliament. An act is a law and this one established the terms under which Manitoba would enter Confederation as a province. One of the terms was that the official transfer to Canada would take place a few months later, on July 15th of that year. So today, what we celebrate is the passing of this law. But the transfer will only take place on July 15th, meaning that we have a few months to wait before celebrating the actual entry into Confederation. To celebrate this anniversary year for our province, the St. Boniface Museum invites you to visit the museum by watching our short uh, video clips that we will be uploading on YouTube. Every week, you'll get the chance to visit our exhibits, learn some facts about the building, see some parts of the museum that are usually not no seen by the public, and meet my colleagues who will introduce you to their favorite objects in the museum. We will also bring you to visit the St. Boniface Cathedral and the cemetery. Happy Manitoba Day, everyone. Tune in next week for the next video.